the dividing line between computers and communications is blurring and is about to disappear. The catalyst for these new developments is the microchip. This invention has revolutionized the way in which almost all electronic devices are built. There are many thousands of microscopically small components on a chip. Even a single speck of dust can ruin a microchip, so manufacture must take place in ultra-clean conditions. Microchips operate successfully because the electrical properties of semiconductors, such as silicon, may be affected by introducing very small amounts of impurities. Tiny transistors, which act like switches, can be built up by diffusion on the silicon surface. Microchips are so complex that they can only be designed with the aid of a computer. An engineer specifies his design, and the computer works out how this may be built in silicon as a set of components and interconnections. The design is then converted to a set of masks, where each mask defines part of the silicon circuit. The manufacture starts with a crystal of ultra-pure silicon, which is sliced into wafers about the thickness of a piece of paper. The wafer is coated with a material which hardens on exposure to light, called photoresist. Using very high resolution photographic techniques, the image on the mask is dramatically reduced and projected in a grid pattern onto the silicon wafer. This projection process selectively exposes parts of the photoresist, which then harden. The soft, unexposed parts of the photoresist are then developed away. As the material is light sensitive, this stage of the manufacturing process takes place in an area lit by yellow safe lighting. The next stage is diffusion. The material is bombarded with gaseous impurities which either form a surface layer or penetrate the silicon to create impurity regions. The remaining photoresist is etched away and the process begins again with a different mask. Thus the components on the chip are built up layer by layer. The final layer is a metal layer making electrical connections between the components on the chip. After fabrication, the circuits of each chip on the wafer are automatically tested. An operator then cuts the chips from the silicon wafer. Each individual chip is bonded to a holder by ultrasonically fusing a spot of gold on the back of the chip to the holder. Finally, the connections on the chip are wired to the pins on the holder. After sealing the package, the microchip is complete. This mass production process means that the price of computers has fallen a hundredfold since the 1970s.